All right, so today we're going to print a dry point by hand. Um, we have our substrate, which is an Akua printmaking print plate. Uh, we have the Akua Mag Mix and the Akua Intaglio ink. We have a palette knife, a burnisher, which is going to be a metal fork today. We have some mat board pieces to spread our ink onto our plate. We have our print paper and we have some phone book pages for wiping after we wipe with our Akua print wiping cloth that you can get as well. But this is um, this is Tarleton, but you can use um, the Akua printing cloth because you can just buy that in a little small pack and that'll be perfect for you. So yeah, let's get going. So our first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our mag mix and our ink and we're gonna mix a little bit of a 50-50. Uh, we want to take our palette knife and we want to make sure that we just mix it up really well. So once our palette knife has done all the mixing it can do and it looks fluid and perfectly mixed, then we're going to take our plate and we're going to take our wrap board pieces and we're going to card the ink onto the plate. We really want to make sure that we get the ink in all of the lines. That's kind of the point of this part right here. So make sure that you push the ink in every direction on the plate. We're going to push it back and forth across um, and you probably want to put it on a piece of newsprint to minimize your mess and backwards neat after you have really carded it on you're going to take a clean piece of mat board and you're just going to scrape off the excess ink so you'll scrape off as much ink as possible and you can see me doing that there all right so now we're going to take our piece of tarlatan or a cool printing cloth and you're just going to, you can't really see me doing it in here, but you're just going to turn it and tuck it underneath and you want to make sure that you have a good pad like the palm of your hand. Make sure that it is like a good solid pad. And right here, the first thing you're going to do is a push and twist is what I like to call it. You're going to push that ink into the plate and just twist it in there. That's the only time you're going to apply a whole lot of like actual pressure. From there, you're just going to lightly lightly wipe your plate, uh, just with a very light hand. You can't really tell in the video, but if you wipe it too hard, you're gonna pull ink out of the lines, and the idea is to wipe the ink that is on the surface and not pull any of the ink out of the lines. As you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you're rotating your cloth and just twisting it around to make sure that you're not just wiping the ink all off in one area of your cloth. It's really gonna help you in the long run, and it's going to, uh, make sure your cloth lasts longer as well or your tarlatan whatever you're using so we're just going to keep wiping it we got a new piece of newsprint there after you feel like you've wiped as much as you can you can take your white tissue paper right here i'm using phone book pages and i'm wiping you can apply more pressure here uh, than you than you did before because you will have a flat surface so this isn't like crumpled up it's just crumpled up and then wrapped in a so it's it's a flat surface you see what I'm doing there, how I'm like wrapping it around and then I'm just kind of rubbing it across and wiping the plate. And this is really just kind of polishing it up and getting the, some last minute pieces off. So now I've just flipped the plate over. I am lightly wiping off the back with a clean shop towel, a clean and dry shop towel. I'm just wiping off the ink that kind of got on the back from when I was inking up the plate. And we're gonna get a new, new piece of newsprint and now I'm just gonna take my shop towel and you may not have an edge like this, but I wanted my, uh, my border of my plate to be really clean. So I'm taking the shop towel. Again, it's clean and dry and I'm just wiping it down. So that way those edges are really neat and clean. If you don't have a border, but you have another area of your plate that you want to be polished extra, you can do that with using a shop towel as well. This is what it looks like when it's completely inked. Now, uh, this is what the registration idea would be for you. You're going to outline your plate, and then you'll have an outline around your plate at a one-inch border done with your ruler. Uh, here we're just using a scrap piece of paper, so it didn't quite fit, but it's all good. So now we're going to take the backside of our fork or spoon, whatever you're using, and we're just going to apply a lot of pressure. I used a piece of newsprint at first, and then I felt like 
once I kind of pushed it in there, I felt like it was better to take the newsprint away. So you're applying a lot of pressure. Just keep in mind that typically we would be running this through a press and the press will apply super even pressure and a lot of pressure, but we can't do that. So we have to use our hands. So you are really, really applying as much pressure as possible. So the idea is to hold it in the middle and really kind of work out from the center and just push down as much as you can. You can peel it up to check on it. And there you go, that's what it looks like. So once you're finished, you could, um, if you wanted to later, you could take some watercolors and you could watercolor your image. So here's an example of that. Yay!